Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert in St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here to calculate angles and degrees using tangent. Now, the materials that you'll need for this particular exercise is a pen, piece of paper, and a calculator, whether it be scientific or graphing. Now, in our example, we're going to use a graphing calculator, but it works just as well with the scientific one. So, now, suppose I wanted to find out tangent of what angle in degrees is equal to, let's just say, 0.75. Now, in any calculator, what you have to be sure of is, using a graphing calculator as an illustration, is under mode, be sure that it's in degree mode. Now, in my illustration, you see that it is, but if your calculator is not, scroll down to degrees and press enter, which is at the bottom of your calculator, and it will be in degree form, and then just press clear to go back to the main screen. Now, we're going to use a little bit of algebra and before entering the rest in the calculator. Now, what you need to do is you need to apply tangent inverse on both sides. Remember, in algebra, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. Now, what happens here is that the tan tangent inverse and the tangent We'll cancel each other out, and you'll have x is equal to tangent inverse of 0.75. Now, on the calculator, there's one function that you really want to be aware of. It's this tan inverse button. Now, on the graphing calculator, notice that it's blue. That means you have to press the second, which is also in blue, button before you can enter anything else. So what we're going to do is, on the calculator, we're going to enter this exactly to the t tan inverse of 0.75. So we're going to press the second button and then the tan button and then notice the parentheses is given to you right away 0.75 and we're going to close the parentheses and then we're going to press enter which is at the bottom of the calculator and you will see that it's going to give you a decimal answer and we're going to round to two decimal places x is equal to 36.87 degrees. Now if you wanted to, let's just say another example, tangent of y is equal to negative 0.1, do the same thing. Apply the tangent inverse on both sides. And we're going to do the same exercise as before. The tangent inverse and the tan will cancel each other out. You have y is equal to tan inverse of negative 0.1. Again, we're going to use the calculator in the exact same way. Second, tan inverse, and then negative 0.1. And you'll see the answer as y is equal to negative 5.71. We're going to round to the two decimal places, and that's going to be your answer. So there are a couple of examples, and there are many more that you can practice with. But I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you calculate angles using degrees and tangents.